So it's been a little over a year since Shane Dawson tried to rescue Graveyard Girls channel. And since then, not much has happened. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why that is and what we can all learn from it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And by the way, did you know, did you know my birthday is in just two days? So do me a favor, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. I would love to get my Instagram to 10,000 followers so I can get that beautiful little swipe up feature. <laughs> All right, but anyways, um, to get started, I wanna give a little shout out to my girl Donna from the channel Psych IRL. If you're a fan of Psych IRL, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, I was inspired to make this video after watching her recent video on Graveyard Girl because this is something that I've been thinking about for a while and then when Donna made her amazing video on Graveyard Girl, I was like, huh? Right? And I wanted to just kind of share some of my experience, maybe some tips and advice that can help you. Because again, like one of the purposes of my channel is we sit back and we watch all this stuff happen passively, but what can we take from it and say, oh, am I doing something similar in my own life? You know what I mean? So those of you who don't know, just real quick rundown. Uh, Graveyard Girl, she was a, a huge channel. She still is a huge channel, but she grew in a lot, a lot of popularity because of like product reviews and trying things that, that were from like I've seen on TV and all these other things, right? And she exploded and you know, she's, she's funny, she's quirky and a lot of people could really relate to her, right? But in recent years, her channel hasn't been performing as well. So even with millions upon millions upon millions of subscribers, she is not getting as many views, she's kind of losing subscribers and everything like that. Well, Shane Dawson was a major fan of Graveyard Girl and he wanted to see what was going on. So him and uh, I think Garrett went out there and Ryland and Morgan, they went out to Texas to go hang out with Bunny and talk to her about her channel and see what's going on. And something that they talked about a lot in that video was, you know, having to change, right? But it was also good seeing them communicate too because here's the thing, like, and this isn't just for YouTube creators, like, this is for everybody out there. Like, we all need to be open to criticism and be willing to make changes and just take in new ideas. But it, it holds a lot more depth and weight when it comes from somebody who is in that field. And like, Shane Dawson could relate to what Graveyard Girl was going through, right? And this is important, like for example, not only is my birthday in a couple days, but it's also my sobriety birthday. So on Sunday, I will be celebrating seven years of sobriety and nobody could get through to me. For a very long time, nobody could get through to me and it took somebody who's actually been through that experience, or well, a lot of people who have been through that experience, to finally get through to me, right? Like it was, it was easy for other people like, you know, heck, doctors, family members who had never struggled with a, a drug or alcohol addiction to tell me like, you need to stop, right? But when I finally sat down with other people who were in recovery and doing this thing that I wanted to do, like they understood the pain and the suffering that I was going through. So even if you're not an addict in recovery, just check and see like how receptive are you to criticism and feedback coming in if it's somebody who hasn't been through it. And this is why I highly suggest that everybody gets a mentor in different realms of their life. Whether it's like, you know, if you're going out to school, like up to, up to college, like find somebody who's been to that school before, talk to them, what helped them get through that journey, you know what I mean? If you're trying to climb your way up the corporate ladder, like find somebody who's already done that, ask them what they did, how, how their experience was, right? Like. I personally try to help out other YouTube creators who are smaller than I am because it wasn't that long ago when I only had a thousand subscribers and I can share some of my experience. And by the way, if you're watching this and you have experience with something, like pass that wisdom and that knowledge onto somebody else who's trying to accomplish the things that you've accomplished, all right? But anyways, something that Shane Dawson talked to um, Graveyard Girl a lot about was like, being you know more open and more honest and more authentic right and sharing about her own personal experiences and letting people into her life and everything like that and you know that is pretty huge here on youtube like depending on who you are 
And when the series first ended, like Graveyard Girl did an excellent job doing that, right? Like she opened up, she got vulnerable with people and you know, she was talking about what was going on in her life and things stayed pretty good for a while. She was still gaining subscribers, getting a lot of views, like off that tailwind of her series with Shane Dawson. And some of you might remember the, the Starbucks fiasco. I made a video about that a long time ago, but she kind of went on this like rant about Starbucks. Um, and talked about her anxiety and everything like that. And that was like a speed bump in her journey because I think she got into the mode of sharing like what she was going through and everything like that. And then she shared a little bit too much and she got some flack because a lot of people felt that she was being entitled and all these other things. But anyways, since then, and something that Donna did a great job pointing out on uh, Psych IRL is that we've seen We've seen Graveyard Girl revert back to kind of her old style of videos and kind of doing the same things to stop gaining views and traction. So the primary thing that I wanted to talk about in this, aside from like finding someone who's been where you wanna be and getting advice from them, but it's our own personal resistance to change, right? And one of my favorite sayings, and if any of you know this exact quote, you know what it is. Like I always butcher it, but you'll get what I mean, right? But one of my favorite quotes was this, it was like, when the pain of staying the same becomes too great, finally we let go and have the willingness to change, right? Like we are these people who hold on to the same thing for so long, like that, that hot coal that's just burning us, right? And finally we have to let go and we have to change. Like this is something that happened in my life for many, many years. I refused to change. I was stuck in my ways. I'm like, this is the way I'm going to do things. This is the way I'm going to live my life. Unfortunately, it took me down the path of drug and alcohol addiction. And it wasn't until I got to the point where I stopped being stubborn and I just asked people for help. And I said, listen, you probably know better than I do. What do I need to do? So in your instance, even if you're not in recovery, maybe it's taking advice from your therapist, right? Or a family member or a friend. But here's the thing, like we actually have to do those things. We can't just take it in and then not turn that, that suggestion into action. But for a lot of us, and I see this a lot working in the sphere of addiction recovery, as well as, you know, people who struggle with mental health issues and things like that. Like I'm not a therapist or psychologist if you don't know me, but I was working at a drug and alcohol treatment center for a few years doing groups, working with clients one-on-one, -on -one, just kind of like peer-to-peer -peer support. But anyways, there are a lot of people who get into you know, that honeymoon phase or in recovery called the pink cloud and they're doing everything. They're taking suggestions. They're on a roll. They're just doing everything that's suggested for them. But when things start to get good, they start to fall back into their own behaviors. So in the case of Graveyard Girl, it's just her channel, right? And I know that's her livelihood and everything like that. But when it comes to like, especially like drug addiction, alcoholism, those of us who struggle with mental health issues, it can be detrimental to our lives. Like a relapse kills people, right? But when we stop working on our mental health, when we quit taking those suggestions, like this is one of the reasons why I highly recommend people don't just only go to therapy when things are really bad. Like go to therapy while things are good. Like something that's really important, especially like when it comes to our mental health, what I've realized from my experience is that we have to be proactive about it. We have to set up these daily habits. Like I have a lot of daily routines that I use for my mental health and many days I'm having amazing days, but when I'm having a bad day, it's already a habit to do those things, right? Because I have to make sure that I don't fall back into those old behaviors, all right? And this is something that we all need to look at. Like, Take a moment, just take a pause and ask yourself, like if you're struggling right now, if you're experiencing suffering, right? Ask yourself, are you falling back into old behaviors, right? Like this is one of the reasons why I preach mindfulness to people so much is so we can pause and be like, oh wow, I'm acting the way I used to act. I, I'm doing that thing that I used to do, right? But to circle this back to Graveyard Girl, Here's just my final thoughts on that situation. And this is for you as well. Like if Graveyard Girl realized that her trying a new type of content, 
you know, opening up and being vulnerable and being honest and everything like that. If she found that that wasn't making her happy and she wants to just keep doing product reviews and just being goofy and things like that, like you do your thing, boo, right? Because the reality is, is that we're all in control, right? We have control over what we do. Like when I'm sitting down to make a video, it's like, okay, like there's a trade off, right? Like, do I want to make a topic that, you know, like that I'm really excited about? Like, and a lot of times I am really excited. Like I'm, I'm glad I get to talk about this video, right? But sometimes I'm just like, okay, well, this is a trending topic. Maybe I'll share my thoughts on this, right? And it's this kind of trade off, right? But we all have to understand in our own lives, like what do we want? Like where are our values at, right? Are we looking for, you know, the fame, the money, the followers, the views, whatever it is, or is it like, I just wanna do what I love, right? Because the thing is, when we get to a place where we don't need too much, we can do the things that we love and we don't have to worry about buying that fancy house or the expensive cars or anything like that, you know what I mean? So if Bunny is happy doing her thing, do you boo, all right? But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Let me know if you struggle with change, if you struggle with bouncing back to old behaviors and all that kind of stuff, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here, get copies of my books for free, some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.